Hey, what's going on YouTube? What's going on everybody, man? Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully swell, man. Keep it up. Keep it up. We're here with some Neil Young. This is a donation request via Buy Me A Coffee. Thank you so much. I believe this is also from one of my uh, YouTube members as well. So thank you uh, for that. We're going to be checking out On The Beach. Okay, Neil Young On The Beach. I haven't heard this song. Looks like we have almost seven minutes of content so we're not going to waste any time and we're going to get into this one give it a listen and afterwards i'll learn a little bit about the song and uh hopefully find if i missed out on anything okay well, let's go ahead and jump into this one and see what's up man so far loving neil young's catalog especially man i don't know that southern man a uh, very good jam very good jam i liked it a lot can't wait to get into some of his other stuff including alabama but for now let's go ahead and jump into this one are going against him not going his way he's worried I need a crowd of people but I can't face them day to day it's like a coasting jam right here I need a crowd of people but I can't face them day That could mean so much. That could mean a lot what he's saying. To the radio interview, I 
talking about his isolation in his mind, how he can be with people, but he's alone still. Get out of town. Think I'll get out of town. Get away from your palms for a little bit, right? Get out of town. Think I'll get out. I like the energy on this track. I like it. It's more mellow, uh, you know, but I like the energy on it, man. And uh, some of the vibes that it gave me from Neil here. But before I even talk about the lyrics, man, I just want to talk his voice. Very soothing, man. Very mellow. Um, almost like he's talking to you on this one. I like that. To his guitar work, phenomenal on this one, man. Uh, I assume that was him both on uh, the beginning instrumentation or, or I, I guess I should say towards the beginning right there was a section after I, I think the second verse he kind of played the guitar and then on the outro right here kind of played it again um, and I just think he does a great job man that's one thing some guitarists are better than others at capture, capturing the essence of the message and the song the energy on the song and I think Neil did a phenomenal job right here both of them just pull you you're already in that frequency that emotional state that he put you in with the feel of the song and the beat and his lyrics but then he rides that same frequency with his guitar work his solos and i love that man i don't think it's easy to pull off um but some people do it very well and i think he did it well on this song i hope that makes sense i hope you guys understand what i'm trying to uh, convey on that but in addition with the the lyrics man the it gave me a lot of almost interpersonal like feelings that he's struggling with at this time in his life you know he's talking about i think i heard him saying he you know these pictures that he puts up on the wall they're coming down um the world's turning it he hopes it doesn't turn on him um that he doesn't lose this favor that he's found himself in uh that he doesn't lose these relationships that that mean a lot to him that bad fortune that bad luck doesn't start coming and rearing its head in his life and it sounds like that's a concern of his to me in this song is uh hey you know maybe there's this mounting wall of negativity this mounting wall of pressure these social um circles that i put myself in i don't know this just mounting wall of stress and pressure he hopes it doesn't come crashing down on him uh, a lot of these fears that are manifesting in his head or whatever the case may be that's the vibe i got from that then he's talking about how he pretty much uh, wants a crowd of people but he doesn't almost you know he doesn't want to do it daily and that's the thing another area where i'm getting from neil's experiences just through the lyrics on this song is that yeah he likes what he does right he wants to perform he wants to put these songs together this is his passion man um 
but the other side of it having to be that performer having to be that star uh having to maintain this stardom is not what he was built for right he was built for the arts but it's when it has to constantly come out and put that art out there and push it and promote it and be that star on stage that's not easy man that's the vibe i'm getting from that one and then where he's talking about uh, he went to the radio station interview and um you know but he was alone on the mic pretty much that gives me that isolated mind set that uh he might be in is like hey yeah i have to go out here i have to promote i have to be with these people i have to pretend like i'm really enjoying these conversations and stuff but in his head he's actually pulled away and uh, he wants to run away somewhere man get away from this for a bit it's just becoming too much that's the vibe i got but let's jump into it a little bit see if i'm missing anything all right so this song uh our album i should say this album was released in 1974 with this song it's got the folk rock vibe definitely digging it definitely feeling that man um it looks like there were some critical reviews of this album when it first came out but in hindsight uh you know in later reviews they actually loved it and it was uh accepted better i don't know if you guys would know that better than i did how this song's reception was when it was first released or the album it sounds like it might have been quite a change i don't know for it after the critical success of harvest um so i don't know but jumping into the meanings of the song we go oh, down on here it says side two of the lp version opens up with on the beach a slow bluesy mediation on the downsides of fame which has been covered by many artists which is definitely the vibe that i was getting there with this song so it looks like i might have been on track there man you guys let me know what y'all think about this one and if you perceive it the same way that i do man i really like this one i thought it was really well done um so i can't agree with the critics on this one i definitely enjoyed the vibe but if it was drastically different than what people might have expected neil young to come out with following i guess whatever uh was on the harvest album assuming that was the order it went um then maybe that there's some context that i'm missing that i would have had to be there in the time to understand but regardless, I enjoyed this one, man. Thank you so much for the donation request. I really appreciate that. Hopefully you enjoyed the reaction. With that being said, I'm gone, man. If y'all like this one, please don't forget like, subscribe. Check out the description down below if you're interested in making donation requests yourself. With that being said, I'm gone. I'll see you on the next one, all right? Peace.